Hi, it's Brad Shores with Tropical Shores Steel Drum Lessons. On today's lesson, we're going to look at uh, Willie Nelson's classic song, Always On My Mind. Well, this song is, is an old country ballad, but I find that it's worked pretty well for the steel drum world. And uh, <clears throat> this song is, the line of this song, or the melody of this song, can be embellished just by adding some, uh, some chord structure to it, and also some chord tones, and also just by adding to the melody, if you add harmony to the melody, which is pretty easy on this song. <clears throat> then you can really fatten up this song and make it make it more exciting. So what I do at the beginning is I, I play the chord tones in this in this particular uh, key. It's it's F chord, then C E G, and then B flat D F, and that will be annotated. That starts off the song, and then you add the melody. So what I'll do is I'll play the melody for a little bit, and then I'm going to add some harmony to it later on, and you'll see how it kind of fattens up the song. And uh, also. We'll be talking about what chords you can use to kind of fill in some spaces. And there are, there's some spaces on here that you can fill out. So we'll go ahead and start at the beginning. C. But you can't play all three notes at once because you only have two mouths. So I always pick two. I pick, um, on this one I'll pick F and A out of the first chord, and then uh, E and G out of the second chord, and B flat, uh, D and F out of the second chord, and E and G out of the third chord. So I played the melody a little bit, and whenever there was a space and I knew what the chord was, I would just play a little bit of that chord. For instance, here's the beginning. And I know there's a, B, uh, a D minor chord, which is DFA. So I just play a little bit of that chord before the next melody part comes in. And then I might play a little C chord, because I know that's coming up. And then the F chord, two notes out of the F chord. And then the melody again. And I'll harmonize each of those notes according to what chord I'm on. That gets a little bit more complicated, but uh, you can see that I use a little bit of the chords just very briefly, and if you're just if you're still learning notes and stuff, this isn't for you. It's for people who are ready to start doing some fill-in stuff. You fill in the chords as as needed, but you have to keep in mind that sometimes the, the notes that you fill in won't be very long because the melody is coming up again. So uh, now to to the harmonization, I know that um, bar 19 of this one where the melody goes, I know that uh, F goes with A and uh, G goes with B flat. And C goes with, or A goes with C. So really, what I do is I put the note 
two notes below the melody note. I pick the note two notes two notes below that. For instance, on um, on the note A, I'll pick out this note, not G, but the note lower, which is F. I'll pick out that note as the harmony note. On this particular song, that works really well. Now I'm going to tell you though, playing this song uh, without the harmony is hard enough. When you put the melody with it, it takes a little bit of practice to play those what we call double stops two at once. Uh, since I've been playing for a long time, that comes out pretty easily. It didn't at first, so I had to practice uh, things like adding notes to notes like uh, F and A to go together, B flat and G, C and A, B flat and D, C and E. That stuff takes time, but once you get to where you're proficient with that, you can add notes to these pretty easily. But a couple times through I did this, I went, okay, I can see what notes I'm going to have to use here. automatically go to those because of repetition my hands already know where the harmony parts are it's a little hard to describe but if you keep at it and you keep working those notes uh, eventually your hands will automatically go to the harmony note it just takes a lot of practice and you have to know what chords you're dealing with that's why I've annotated on here what chords are going by as best as I could a lot of chords involved uh, there's a lot of speed in these chords but there's not that many there's only like three or four different chords the F chord the B flat chord the C chord and I believe the D minor chord so I've annotated all those and, and where they are on this song. So as the chords go by and you see that there's a hole and you can fill in a couple uh, times like there's a little bit of time there so I filled in a chord. I did the B flat chord and then the, uh, uh, four, the B flat chord goes by again and the 5, C chord and then back to the 1. play all the parts of the chord because you don't have that much time. You have very little time on this one, but if you want to fill in a little bit and make yourself sound more professional, fill in those background chords is a real good way to do that. And, and also, playing harmony notes on this song especially really brings out, it sounds like there's another person playing with you. It automatically fattens up your sound a little bit. But again, it takes a little practice and it takes repetition so that your hands automatically go to those harmony notes. So, uh, a very recognizable song and people will go, well, is that, is that Willie Nelson on the steel drum? It always surprises them, and I think people really enjoy this song. Well, that's it for this time. I want to thank you for watching the videos, and I would like you to subscribe to the channel so you can see the videos as they come out. And please go to panland.name.com, which is a, a social site for pan players from all over the world. There's downloadable music, there's videos, advice, uh, a forum, all kinds of things like that. And also, for all your steel drum needs, all your steel drum uh, music needs, please go to tropicalshores.net. Thanks again. We'll see you later.